Have you been typed as a deep winter or a deep autumn, but colors that belong to these palettes appear a little too intense on you? There is, in fact, a seasonal color system out there that segregates dark from deep seasons. So today I'm going to talk about what the differences are between the two and how to figure out which side you're closer to. As you can see, I'm here in a different space. I'm actually in a different city right now. I'm visiting my parents for a few weeks here in Toronto because of a family event. So I'll be filming here for the next couple weeks. So I feel like you guys have shown the most interest and enthusiasm for my content around color analysis. So I'm always doing my own research on the topic to see what other useful information is out there. And apparently there is a 20 season system that differentiates deep from dark seasons. In the 12 season system, deep and dark are words that are used interchangeably a lot of the times, but in a more segregated version of the system, they can mean different things. And I thought it would be an interesting topic to share with you today. But before I get into the details, let me just say that there's many different systems out there that have evolved from the 12 season system. And sometimes I get comments saying things like, it's technically impossible to have a soft spring or a deep summer. It's not possible for winter to be soft or autumn to be light, yada, yada, yada. Let me just say that even the 12 season system, which seems to be the most popular one out there, that itself is an evolved version of the original four seasons. You know, four became eight and then 12 and now 16, 20 and however many seasons one decides there to be. And these systems exist because there are enough cases and exceptions out there that cannot be fully explained using a simpler structure. We're human beings and our skin tone is not just one monotone of a color. So there's always going to be exceptions to these rules and there's always going to be concepts that doesn't apply to everyone. It's why I think that everything needs to be looked at from a spectrum perspective and you need to focus on which characteristic of color is the most important for your skin tone rather than getting fixated on trying to land on a season. And I'm sharing information about these different systems and sharing my two cents with you in order to help break that stereotype in your head. So you might not agree with all the information and that's okay, but just know that there's different opinions out there. And speaking out loud, I feel like maybe a video on all the misconceptions there are about seasonal color analysis might be something that you would find helpful. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about this topic as a separate video. Okay, rant session out of the way now, and let's get back into the main topic. So from what I've gathered, this differentiation between deep and dark seasons is similar to that of the deep versus soft winter that I've talked about before. And I've only spoken about soft winter because there's already a soft autumn that exists. But in this version of the 20 season system, there are differences between soft autumn, dark autumn, and deep autumn. So the difference between dark and deep seasons is that for people that fall into to the deep seasons, the most important characteristic for them is the value or the depth of the color. So your best colors are colors that contain a lot of black. For people that fall into the dark seasons, yes, depth of color is important, but softness is another important characteristic as well which I can actually relate to. If you've watched my previous video on why do I look bad in both warm and cool colors, I identified myself as someone where both depth and softness are important factors. Now, what that means is that even though dark colors are your best colors, too dark and too deep is overwhelming. So you need an element of softness to tone down the intensity of the darkness. And how you do that with a color that already contains a lot of black is to add a hint of white. To fully explain this concept, I have to talk about chroma and clarity in more depth. The definition of chroma in color theory is simply a measure of how pure a color is. So technically, any color that contains any level of black, gray, or white are all considered to have lower chroma than a pure color. In color analysis, within the umbrella concept of chroma, we also have to look at the clarity of the color in addition. If you think about it, a color that contains gray is essentially a color that contains both black and white because gray is a mix of the two. So in terms of the color's clarity level, between a color that just has black added versus a color that has both black and white added, both have lower chroma than a pure color, but the first color has a higher clarity level. And what this differentiation between deep and dark seasons means is that in terms of the value of the color for both types, the darkness or the depth of the color is important. And in terms of chroma, both seasons are also low in chroma. But in terms of clarity, deep seasons can tolerate colors that have a higher clarity level, whereas dark seasons need colors that are lower in clarity 
aka soft. And the same logic can be applied to light colors. In terms of value, you could be suited for colors that are light in value. So that would be colors that contain a lot of white. So chroma level wise, colors that have a lot of white added are low in chroma, but in terms of clarity, colors that only have white added are higher in clarity than colors that have a lot of white and also a hint of black. That's why people resonate with seasons like soft spring or light autumn. Even amongst the colors that are light in value and low in chroma, because the clarity level in these colors can vary, depending on how your skin tone reacts to these characteristics, you could be the type that needs colors that are slightly softer or less clear than light spring. Or you might need colors that are slightly lighter than the traditional soft autumn colors. All right, so what are some of the indicators that can differentiate a deep season from a dark season? I think that a really easy way to tell is using the color of your lipstick. In the past, I've shared a series of shorts on how to self-diagnose your color season, and in part three of the series where you're checking the clarity level that's the most suitable for you, I suggested using the lipstick test. Your lip color is pretty much as close to the face as it gets because well, it's literally part of your face. And very deep and dark colors are normally found on parts of our bodies like our eyebrows, irises, and in our hair. So to be able to wear a very dark lipstick and not have the color weigh you down is actually pretty difficult. Even among celebrities that are normally typed as the traditional deep winter or deep autumn in the 12 season system, you'll rarely find that really dark colors on their lips truly work for them. Usually the look is to achieve a more dramatic effect or it's an edgy style choice, but it's not necessarily something that appears harmonious with the skin tone for the majority. So if you're truly able to wear a dark lipstick color without the color weighing your face down, that's a pretty clear indicator. Lily Collins and Angela Bassett are good examples of that, and I think it gets especially difficult with differentiating deep versus dark autumn than deep versus dark winters, because autumns are warm, so their colors should contain more yellow, and winter colors contain more blue because they're cooler. But yellow is much lighter than blue, so for a deep color to be on the warmer side, it's gotta be lighter than its cooler counterpart. Somebody actually mentioned this in one of the comments, which I thought was brilliant. And it's that as the color gets deeper, you're adding more and more black to the color, but black can actually be created with the three primary colors, blue, yellow, and red. And it's mostly made of blue because it's gotta be dark. So by adding a lot of black to a color, you are in fact making the color cooler because black contains a lot of blue. So then between deep winter and deep autumn colors, warmer colors should be lighter in theory, which is why I think it's more difficult to differentiate between deep autumn and dark autumn than between deep winter and dark winter. One more thing to note here about lip colors though, is that like I talked about in my don't wear red lips video, you could have some elements in your lower face that you don't really want to draw heavier emphasis to, which means a bolder color on the lips in general just might seem off on you regardless of your color season if you have any notable features in your lower face that you don't want to draw extra attention to. I talked about Halle Berry having a long filtrum before, and even though most people seem to agree that she is a dark or a deep season in the 12 season system, we rarely find her wearing any sort of a dark color on her lips because that would highlight her lower face and filtrum more. So be cautious of this factor as well if you're looking to try out the lipstick test for yourself. If you're not able to use the lipstick test because bold or dark colors on your lips in general are just not suitable for you, another method that can be a potential differentiator between deep or dark seasons is in your outfits and specifically the contrast level in your outfits. Previously, I shared this tip that when I'm wearing something like a black button down shirt, if I button everything up, it looks too overwhelming on me. So I have to incorporate some level of contrast like opening up the shirt and wearing a lighter color underneath to balance the heaviness of the black. So if you look better in a solid dark color or a combination of only dark colors in your outfits and that doesn't weigh you down, it's a good indicator that you could be closer to the deep than the dark. Whereas if you're like me and all dark and low contrast in any part of the outfit seems too intense or overpowering, that can mean that you are closer to the dark than the deep. So those are some of the indicators that can differentiate whether you're better suited for deep or dark colors. I know some of you might think that maybe this level of segregation and detail is unnecessary, but like I said, this is the exact reason why I think it's important to look at this whole concept of color seasons with a spectrum perspective. And if you can understand where you land on within the scales of warm to cool, light to dark, 
clear to soft, it'll help you see the flow or the direction of colors that are the best match for yourself. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, don't forget to press those like and subscribe buttons and turn on your notifications. And I'll see you in my next video. Till then, stay unique and stay gorgeous.